गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर एट द प्लांट वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट एंड देयर फंक्शंस इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न अबाउट द रूट सिस्टम स्पेशल रूट्स फ्लावर्स एंड द फ्लावरिंग सीजन्स and the usefulness of flowers like humans plants also have different parts each part of the plant has its own function let us know about these parts a plant has two main parts the roots which grows under the soil and the shoots which grows above the soil root root is the part of a plant which grows under the soil different plants have different type of roots now let's repeat with me the part of a plant that is above the soil forms the shoot system and the plant part inside the soil forms the root system next topic what are the two kinds of roots there are two types of roots tap root and fibrous root Some plants have tap roots while some have fibrous root. Tap root. A tap root has one main thick root below the stem that goes deep inside the soil from which smaller roots grow as its branches. Plants like carrot, radish, neem, mango, bean and peepal have tap roots. Fibrous root. This type of root has no main root. Many tiny thin roots grow like a bunch below the stem. The roots of the plant spread out in the soil. Plants like wheat, rice, maize and onion have fibrous roots. Next topic, what are the functions of roots? All roots have the following functions. First, fix the plant in the soil. Second, absorb water and minerals from the soil. do some roots have special functions such as storage roots extra food made by the plant is stored in the roots of some plants as starch for example beetroot and turnip during the storage of food due to crop failure roots like yam tapioca and sweet potato are eaten by people a lot of water is stored in the roots of plants that belong to the pumpkin family second propagative roots birds are produced along the roots of plants like cherry and strawberry plants these are propagative roots they help to produce more of their kind third aerial roots Some plants like banyan tree send down roots from their branches to the ground they are called aerial roots these roots support the heavy branches of the tree help in breathing and taking in moisture from the air fourth breathing roots plants that grow in marshy areas where the soil is water logged grow roots above the soil to help the plant to breathe mangrove trees have such breathing roots fifth buttress roots thick roots grow on the side of tall trees in the tropical rainforest these buttress roots support the plant and help it to make in more nutrients Next topic flowers Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant they are found in different colors sizes and shapes Some flowers like rose hibiscus and jasmine have a pleasant smell A complete flower has the following parts Hmm they smell so good They are the most beautiful part of the plant Yes, they look so lovely. I love flowers. Let's make a flower by magic. You can do anything. Not everything, but I can make a flower. 
Let's start. Yeah, let me first bring some circles. You know, these circles protect the bird till it opens. Petals, most beautiful part of flower. Aren't they attractive? Yes, they are. They attract insect towards the plant. attracts insect towards a plant. Here comes the filaments. Bring few anthers too. Oh yeah. These filaments and anthers are male parts of the flower. Jointly, these are called stamen. Eh, eh. Male parts, stamen, eh, eh. anther and filaments. Now comes the female parts. Female parts are stigma, style and ovary. Oh, I know. All these female parts are called carpal. You're right. Also put nectar here. Oh, I forgot. Here it comes. So, student, these are the parts of a flower. How are plants grouped according to their lifespan? Now, students, just tell me what is the meaning of lifespan. You all know that living things do not live forever they live for a certain time after that they die this is a mustard plant a mustard plant lives for some months only after that it dies the time period for which a plant lives is called its lifespan so, a mustard plant has a definite lifespan. All the plants have definite lifespans. But the lifespans differ. Some plants have a short lifespan. And some plants have long lifespans. Plants like the maize plant and the mustard plant live for a few months so they have short lifespans. But trees like a people tree and a neem tree live for many years. So they have a long lifespan. On the basis of the lifespan we can divide the plants into three different groups annual biennial and perennial plants first annuals they have a lifespan of just one season that means one year in which they grow to full size bloom produce seeds and die marigold petunia Zinnia are annuals. Second, biennial. They have a lifespan of two years. They grow to full size in first year and produce flowers and seeds in the second year after which they die. Carnation, hollyhock, sweet william are biennials. Third, perennials. They have a lifespan of more than two years and they bloom every year. Lily, Canna and Rose are perennials. So our next topic is, do flowers bloom in all seasons? All flowers do not bloom in all seasons. Flowers have specific blooming seasons. However, flowers are seen throughout the year. Oh. The first one is spring flowers, tulip, lily, daffodil. Second one is autumn flowers, rose, chrysanthemum, zinnia. Third is winter flowers, hollyhock, 
hyacinth and jasmine more flowers tuberose dahlia and sweet pea now how are flowers useful for us flowers are used by us in the following ways flowers are used to express feeling of love and friendship they are also gifted on special occasions like weddings flowers are also used in temples churches and placed on the graves of the loved ones second flowers are used for decoration in temples and marriages women wear gajra to add beauty to their hair third flowers are used for landscaping gardens etc fourth flowers like rose and jasmine are used to make perfumes because of their fragrance who is a florist florists are people who sell cut flowers they are expert in the art of arranging flowers they buy flowers from the flower mandi and sell them they also sell unusual and ornamental flowers flowers are considered to be a unique gift item so students i hope you have understood this chapter thank you